Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Chicala Kitchen. It's a busy morning already. Um, this apron brings back so many memories for me. This is the apron that my oldest granddaughter always wore as a, a little girl when she helped me make Christmas cookies. She's now in college. I have a granddaughter in college. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. It's a lot to unpack, but it's a busy day. I've got bread rising. I've got biscotti in the oven. And today for our Christmas platters, we're making lace cookies. Now there are multiple ways to make these. We're gonna talk about them, but let's get them done. So in my mixer, I'm gonna to try to make this video short. I have two and a half cups of oatmeal, regular oatmeal, not the quick cooking. I have one pound of brown sugar. If you got a one pound box, the whole box. I buy it in bigger bulk, so I weighed it out, one pound. Three tablespoons of flour, and I'm gonna mix that up. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla, one egg, and two sticks of butter that I'm gonna put in the microwave and melt. We're gonna add that, mix it up, and then I'll be back to show you how amazing these cookies are. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, so here is our lace cookies batter. And what we're gonna do, I have a half teaspoon measuring spoon. You're gonna scoop up just a little bit rounded, half teaspoon. And put them on the cookie sheet, a couple of inches apart. Just a little rounded half teaspoon. It looks like a tiny amount, but these are lace cookies. These are going to spread. Okay. So I'm going to do this tray. They're going to go in a 375 degree oven for about seven minutes. And we'll be back when we pull them out and I'll show you what happens. Okay, so they're out, they're bubbling. Now you see how they spread, they spread into each other. That's okay, you just take a little knife and you separate very carefully. Don't touch these for a minute. Oops. What we're going to do is we are going to grab the parchment very carefully because this is hot. Oops, yeah, watch me. Okay, grab this parchment and you're going, oops, you're going to slide these cookies right off onto a wire rack so that they don't continue cooking and burn. We don't want them to burn on the bottom. Now, give it about a minute and these will actually crisp up very quickly. So I'm just going to use a knife to separate where they connected themselves very carefully. Now, lace cookies are absolutely delicious, crunchy little treats to have next to coffee, as is. But if you want to take them up a notch, when they crisp up, you melt some dark chocolate, Spread just a little bit on one cookie. Put another cookie on top so it's a little sandwich. Chef's kiss, and that's what you find in an Italian bakery. Okay, now you see how quickly this is already starting to crisp up. Give it another minute or so. There we go. They're not difficult to separate. Now, this will become very, very crisp, very, very thin. You can, if you want, bend them at this point. It's gonna be difficult to do the whole tray because they will crisp up very quickly. Hold them in that position or put them on the handle of something and you will have a very pretty little addition to your cookie tray. There we go, just like that. A 
I did one earlier. Okay, so I'm going to finish up these cookies. You're going to let them cool completely, peel them off the paper, and then sandwich them with some chocolate if you want to take them to the next level. Buon cibo, buon amici, good food, good friends. There is nothing like an Italian cookie at Christmas. We'll see you soon. Please come back. We are going to be doing rainbow cookies, pignoli cookies, and if I have time, rugola. <laughs> if I can get it in, because these cookies, are, they're going to be going all over the country, and I have to get them out in the mail to make it before Christmas. So we'll see you soon. Come back tomorrow.